What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's PCs and today we're going to be having a look at a little bit of maintenance. That's right, today we're going to have a look at how to give your graphics card a little bit of a clean up uh, just to keep it running nice and smoothly. Now, you may want to be doing this if you've either purchased a second hand graphics card or if uh, you haven't given your system a clean for a while or even if you have given your system a clean or and you're running with dust filters over time dust is going to get through those dust filters as I will show you in a moment right so my PC behind us uh, I upgraded it around six or seven months ago and that was the last time that I actually gave it any kind of a clean out and I only did a very basic clean at the time uh, as mentioned, my PC is running with dust filters in its Fractal Define R6 case. Uh, they're pretty fine mesh, so not a lot gets through. However, as you will see in a moment, over time, it still manages to make its way through there, even though I've got a uh, filter and fans and a radiator all before it even reaches the graphics card. There's actually a fair little bit of dust that has built up on there. So if you're running with dust filters, you'll still need to do a little bit of basic maintenance. If you aren't running with dust filters, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to be doing some basic maintenance to keep that dust under control. It helps keep your temperatures down. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is strip the graphics card out of this system. We're going to give it all a good clean, strip down part of it. We're not going to go all the way because I don't want to disturb the thermal paste or thermal pads on that card because they're still performing very well. Uh, but I will be looking at that in a different video so you can catch that one a little bit later. All right, guys, so let's get a little up close and personal with my rig here for just a moment. And if I remove the side panel, all right, we can see that even though I've been running with dust filters pretty much non-stop. You can, you can physically see the dust that's managed to make its way through there. So that's probably from things I might have placed on the top that's knocked dust loose from the fans. Uh, and some of that is definitely going to have been drawn in through the front, even though I've got all those dust filters in place. As you can see, oh, you're going to get sick watching this video. So there's a nice dust filter in the front there. Uh, yeah, which I've actually cleaned out the dust filter and I'll show you that in another video. But today we're going to look at getting this part of the graphics card cleaned up because well, let's face it, it doesn't look that nice aesthetically. But we're also going to get inside here and we're going to just make sure that there's no dust clogging up all those fins. Alright then, so let's start off by getting the graphics card stripped out of there. So first of all, I'm going to disconnect any power connectors. Depending on what kind of graphics card you've got, you might not even need these. But uh, certainly anything mid to high end is going to have power connectors. So just make sure you don't damage anything while you're removing those. Next, we're going to remove screws. Not sure if you can make them out. I've got thumb screws there, but I can't use my fingers and thumbs because they're too far physically past the graphics card. So a little bit of assistance required with a screwdriver. And believe it or not, there are other brands other than iFixit. Well, let's get this out. Now, depending on what kind of motherboard you have got, there will always be a mechanism for locking a PCI Express graphics card into place. Mine's got a little push tab. Some of them have got like a, a catch. Uh, so you're gonna have to work that one out on your own, I'm afraid. Um, in most cases, you can get your finger on there to push these out. I wouldn't recommend, if possible, using anything like a screwdriver to push it, because if you slip, you could damage your motherboard, and that is not something that you want to do, well, for obvious reasons. So. Let's just give that a little push and it should come free. Nice and easy. So now we can really see the extent of that dust buildup. Uh, from the looks of this, it is largely 
on the back. But we're going to give it a strip down and a little clean out anyway. Okay, so obviously uh, this is my EVGA GTX 1070 Ti Ultra Silent. A nice beefy heatsink on there. Now, um, there's obviously you're not going to have this exact graphics card, but the overall method is pretty much the same no matter which card you've got. Um, so you may or may not have a backplate on the back of your graphics card depending on its brand and model. You're almost certainly going to have some sort of fan assembly and fan shroud and heatsink on the front. So it's always just a case of locating the screws that are holding uh, your heatsink shroud on. And obviously because there are fans attached you have to be very careful when you're removing that just to make sure that you don't damage any of those fan cables because you'll just need to unplug them. Um, it looks like with this there is a lot of this that is actually just holding on uh, that heatsink so we're not going to look to remove any of this back cover we're just going to give that a clean up and we're going to try and remove the front cover here so we can get in between the fins and make sure that there isn't any large dust build up inside of there. So taking your generically branded non iFixit toolkit or an iFixit toolkit if you've got one. Let's figure out what kind of screw size you need. Uh, mine is held together with some very tiny little Allen key bolts. Uh, so I'm going to select the right one for that and I'm going to go about removing the screws along the sides here. And along this side edge here. I'm not exactly sure how much of those are decorative at this point because I haven't actually stripped this card down before so let's find out. Okay so there we go that's opened up and as you can see we've got a little power connector right down here. Now in yours you may or may not actually you need to uh, pull these out of the way to disconnect them. It looks like I've also got a fair few spare headers on there for some random RGB. That might come in useful at some point. Let's we'll see if we can modify this. But for now, let's give all of that a damn good clean out. Alright, the next step I'm going to take for my particular model uh, is going to be carefully removing the fans so I can right get underneath. As I stated on some of your models, these fans may actually have been attached to the shroud. Um, mine aren't, so this might be slightly more complicated. But we'll do the same again, select the right screw. And you usually see they're like on a three or four little uh, brackets. You get right inside here in between the blades to get them out. Okay, so now we can get nicely underneath and what we can see, uh, let's just move them in a little bit closer. Okay, so what we can see here is that actually we're in pretty good condition in this card and that is probably something to do with that the default fan curve or for this particular card is zero RPM unless it reaches above a certain temperature. So the fans aren't spinning the entire time that the system fans are spinning. So it isn't drawing dust into these fins and building up massive amounts. So all we're gonna have to do here is uh, very similar if you ever saw my PSU cleaning video, we're gonna take a soft bristle brush and we're just gonna get inside there and brush that out. Uh, if you've got compressed air, or uh, some sort of a dust blower that will be useful as well once we've used the brush to sort of loosen everything up. All right, so what we want to do now, as said, is we're going to take a little soft brush. I've got this paintbrush here and we're literally just going to brush out in between these fins and on the back of the fans and inside this shroud, just anywhere where you can see visibly 
any kind of dust build up. All right, once you've brushed in all the surfaces, uh, you can either um, use your compressed air and blow everything out of there, or if you've got any other sort of blower, you can do that, or just literally use your lungs and blow any excess dust from there. I've got this little handheld uh, air compressor battery operated thing. Um, this is intended for blowing up tyres, but it does move air. So, it does the same job, but it's got more than one purpose. Okay, so that's all nice and cleaned out. Let's pop it back together and put it back in the system. Okay guys, there you have it. A uh, very quick and easy method for giving your graphics card a uh, fairly basic clean out, just get rid of all of that dust and make sure that uh, your thermals aren't suffering because of any kind of dust buildup. Uh, the last thing that you're going to want to do now is take your graphics card and plug it back into your system, just give it a power on, uh, maybe run uh, MSI Afterburner and increase the fan profile just to make sure that your fans are actually spinning. There is always the possibility that while you're putting it back together, you might have uh, forgotten to connect up one of the fans or RGB or anything like that if you've got it. Uh, so yeah, you'll just want to make sure that everything is in working order. Obviously, if it isn't, strip it back out, sort out the issue, reconnect anything that you might have missed, and then pop it back in and check it again. Because the last thing you want to be doing after cleaning out your graphics card uh, you're making it run nice and thermally efficient because there's no dust but the fans don't turn so yeah you'll be giving yourself a separate issue but all being well you've cleaned it out put it back together properly pop it back into your system and that's it if you're running with dust filters you're probably good to go for another year maybe before you want to think about doing this again uh, which over the lifetime of a graphics card means that you may end up doing this three to five times before you upgrade your PC again. All right guys, if you found today's quick tip to be useful, why not smash that like and subscribe button for more great uh, quick tips and other content coming up soon. I do try to keep the channel updated as often as I possibly can, so hitting those buttons, make sure you don't miss out on anything that's coming up next. Until next time, catch you later.